say I'm going to my site. I just write wrote my uh, website address. I'm just going to that. As you can see, that there is no palm re uh, palm rejection or there is no pointer selection like as you see on the active pen. But but in my opinion, it does the job. Today's uh, video is about uh, two touch pens which we can use in uh, touch devices. So uh, as you can see in my hand, um, on my left hand it is Dell and on my right hand it is uh, Tuxer. And this one is a stylus pen and this one is an active pen from Dell. This is an OEM product from uh, Dell. And this costs something around 6000 uh, rupees uh, plus rupees and I got it along with this uh, laptop which I have purchased. So uh, we are going to test these uh, touch pens in this uh, laptop. This is a Dell Inspiron uh, 5406 uh, laptop which I have recently purchased and uh, I have uh, done a review on uh, this laptop. If you haven't seen, I uh, will place it on uh, the i button. You can go and check the link. Also, uh, this particular uh, touch fan uh, from Dell. Uh, this I have got along with this uh, tablet, uh, this uh, laptop. And uh, this one I have purchased from Amazon outside uh, market. This is a uh, Tuxer. This is a stylus pen, and this one is an active pen. So this for a different purpose. Actually, it was for testing uh, this pen in uh, my Lenovo Anton FHD tablet, and this worked very really fine with uh, Lenovo Anton FHD Plus. If you haven't seen that video, you can go and check the i button uh, a link, and you can see that video with that review. So this is a comparison between this 399 rupees worth uh, stylus, uh, captivity stylus pen, versus the 6000 rupees active palm rejection uh, OEM product from uh, Dell. Uh, by the way, one more thing this particular uh, item didn't work uh, in uh, the Lenovo Amplen FHD tablet, but this one worked uh, in the Lenovo Amplen FHD tablet. Very fine. So, let's see uh, how good this one uh, does the job. So, uh, let's test both of uh, these. Um, uh, touch pens. This one is Tuxer and this one is Dell. So let's open the Dell first. So this is it. It has to got two buttons. As since it is an active pen, it has got two buttons and it requires uh, 4A battery uh, to uh, for this pen to function. I'll show you that it is placed here inside uh, this pen. It's already placed. See, hope you can see that. This is already placed. So it requires a 4A battery. For this to work, so you can see the brand mark here that is Dell. Hope you can see that. This is an active pen which I have got from uh, along with this uh, uh, laptop. So you can see that. Hope you can see the pointer coming while I move. I haven't touched this pen on the screen yet, but you can see the pointer. I hope you can see the pointer. I'll I'll try to zoom it. Hope you can see the pointer running. I haven't touched it. So this is where how it works. The active OEM product works. From where you can. Um, select the item without touching tap it and you can select the item so this is how it works see 
the selection is smooth it works very fine so if you want to select something just tap on it tap on simply see how See how smoothly it works. Excellent. So let me try drawing something. Let me take the MS Paint. I just take on the paint. Just trying to write something here. Wow. It works very fine. Okay, I'm going to my site. I just write, wrote my uh, website address. I'm just going to that. As you can see that this is my business website. So you can easily use that. See how easily it scrolls. Excellent. So this is how it works. So this one is pretty good in writing, in drawing. You can use this for uh, your artistic work. For if you are a designer or if you are an architect or if you are, if you are an artist, then this one is pretty good. It does the job. You can write, you can draw very precisely with this uh, particular uh, uh, touch pen. This is an OEM product from Dell. Let's check uh, this one. This is Texer. This is a stylus pen actually. It is a captive stylus pen. So I'm opening it and I'm using it. This doesn't require any battery like the one which you have seen in uh, this uh, active pen. This is a stylus pen, so let's open it. You can see that stylus pen will have a tip, uh, a disc on the tip, which makes it move, which makes it uh, function on the uh, touch devices. But you can see that in active pens, you don't have any tip. It is similar like a pencil or a pen, but this one uh, will have a tip, a disc on, uh, on its tip. So let's see how this one performs. Yeah, it works good. But I'm just dragging like what I have done it with uh, uh, the active pen. So let me check the selection. Now paint. Let's take the paint. Well, it works fine. But as you can see that there is no selection, there is no palm rejection or point selection from uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, test pen. But it does the job, don't say it. So let me check, well. It works. It works very fine. 
as you can see that there is no palm re uh, palm rejection or there is no pointer selection like as you see in on the acupen but but in my opinion it does the job let me check once again the paint it is it is not as precise as uh, the uh, active pen but it does the job okay So this is the review regarding these two touch pens and uh, the final verdict is like if you are a core a designer, artist or an architect who is more uh, depending on your uh, touch devices for your uh, work uh, for perfection then I would uh, recommend this one, this active pen is the OEM pen which cost uh, 10 to 15 times more uh, when it's compared to this uh, uh, stylus pen but otherwise if you are a normal user who just want to uh, uh, do some writing just want to sign just want to do some um, uh, notations just to uh, have a graphical uh, to do a gra graphical uh, presentations then this one does the job and for some normal design purpose you can use this one but if you are using something for design core designing like photoshop you want to use or you want to use some other thing designing uh, uh, softwares then definitely you require this palm rejection, uh, this active pen. Uh, this won't do the job. But always for all, as you've seen, for all other purpose, this one uh, does the job. So this is the final verdict on uh, these two uh, touch pens from my end. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Hope this video will help uh, others in uh, making a decision on which uh, touch pens you need to. Uh, purchase. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.